I wrapped up a lot of the DLC content. I just have to evolve my Cub Fu. And we gotta be heading on over to the Water Tower. Come on, come on. Oh, and he is slow. He is slow. You know, for 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 a level 85 Pokemon, that is ridiculously slow. And I have the Lucky Incense um, <laughs> equipped onto him, so I'll have to change that when I get closer to the tower. This is the Tower of Waters. It's a training ground where Kubfu will learn the true essence of water. I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure that water has an essence. <laughs> I doubt that water has an essence. Are you sure you want to climb the towers of water? I'm pretty sure. Because if I want the dark path, I'd be weak to myself. Or, uh, Kub Fu is a fighting type, so I, he, he'd be weak to other fighting types. He can follow me around indoors. Would you look at that? He's not hes not gotten any faster, but he can still follow me around. I really like the challenge they implemented here uh, in the DLC because the main game just felt so ridiculously easy. It was just holding your hand half the time. So I'm really, really happy they added some sort of challenge like this. It's, it's level 65. You know, I'm feeling less and less... Like, uh, this is a challenge. <laughs> oh, let's see if I one-shot this. You know, may maybe, <laughs> maybe... Maybe it isn't so much of a challenge. I've been swallowed whole by your great strength. Do you, do you mean just Cub Fu being 20 levels higher than what he's supposed to be? How many floors is this? Is this like a 20-floor thing? Because I'm only expecting five. Level 66, it's just going up by one. <laughs> I mean, all right. Let's see if I can still one shot. I still got it. What do you guys think Cub Fu sounds like? Like what? What voice would he have? My guess is something like he sounds like Boo Boo from Yogi the Bear, and then his evolution would sound like Yogi the Bear. I'm trying to remember Boo Boo's voice. It's like it, he it, he almost sounds like he's in pain. Like he has some sort of illness. He has a common cold, but constantly. Hey, Boo Boo. No, that's not it. <laughs> I can't do it. But I can do a perfect Yogi the Bear impression. Hey, Boo Boo, want a picnic basket? That was horrible. Never mind. I can't do a perfect. <laughs> I can't do a perfect Yogi the Bear impression. What floor are we on? I've I've completely forgotten. Hang on. Do you say what floor we're on? Do you say impressive? You can now proceed to the top floor. He is waiting for you there. We're already at the top? <laughs> what? Cup Blue's just been one-shotting everything. Let me be the one to teach you the final lesson of the essence of water. Again, I don't think water has an essence. What am I looking at? What, what am I looking at? It... I... Did did he just lose like thirty pounds? <laughs> did, he lost thirty pounds. He gained some hair gel for his eyebrows. And uh, where where did the wristbands come from? Level seventy versus level eighty five. I I'm, I'm not too worried. I think we'll just spam brick break again. One shot. Oh oh one one of the first Pokemon. One of the first Pokemon to survive Aerial Ace. Okay, that, that actually didn't do much. That scared me. Whew. Oh my gosh. That scared me. But uh, one of the first Pokemon to actually survive a Brick Break only for another Brick Break. Like, like can you stop playing around? Can you shut up already? Can you evolve? Go and show Cub Fu the scroll of water. Cub Fu's ready now. So Cub Fu just needs to look at a picture to evolve? Is this it? <laughs> Cub Fu just needs to look at a picture. Really? Brr, who is saying that? Is that me or Cub Fu? My boo boo's evolving into a yogi. 
Mr. Park Ranger, sir! <laughs> it it kind of looks like it's sewing. It kind of looks like it's in this sewing motion. <laughs> now that I see that, I just can't unsee that. Dang, look at this dude. Oh, and he's gained some speed. He he has gained some speed. Look at him. He's he's actually kind of big. So you put 5'11 over me, and then you put 6 foot over Ursaring. Well, I keep calling it Ursaring, it's Ursifu, something like that, I don't know. Oh my god. I'm, I'm having flashbacks to the actual game. The, Hop is just gonna hold my hand again. It looks a bit lost. Is Po- They're not gonna make me do this. Are, is it, is this gonna be one of those quests? Where this uh, Lilligant, right? Is this Lilligant? I, I don't know what the pre-evolution is. Where it just follows me around and I have to find <laughs> where it's supposed to go. Ursaring, maul it. Maul it. Oh, and it's following me. I predicted this. I predicted this would be a quest. What did I say? What did I say? Wait, where, where'd it go? Where, where, where'd it go? Are you telling me that if I get too far ahead, it will despawn? That this game is really telling me that. First, first you give me 151 diglets to find. Then you throw this BS at me. Oh my gosh. Where, where are you? Where did I find it? It's... Oh! It's it's not the fact that I got too far away. It, it's just the fact that it, it can't cross a bridge. <laughs> Neither can my Urshifu. Alright, now, now we have to move on to the next quest. Which is probably just going to be the same exact thing. Where did Hop go? Here we go again. Aimlessly wandering around the forest until we can find Hop. I want to check something out real quickly. I'm getting bored of searching around. What does Eternatus look like following you around? Oh, he's big. He's he, he's a big boy, isn't he? We gave uh, Kubfu a voice. We gave Ursifu a voice. What what what's Eternatus' voice gonna be? Come on, we, we need in a voice for this. The image of Marge Simpson just came into my head with this thing. Imagine Eternity just, just having a Marge Simpson voice. Oh, homie! <laughs> oh, that's horrible. <laughs> that thing is tiny. That's really tiny. Like, the grass is almost bigger than it. How, how do you even see that? We've got to find Appleton. Oh, you're kidding. You're kidding. I'm now playing hide and seek with Pokemon. Is he in the tree? He's in the tree, isn't he? Yes. Okay, good. Good. I, I don't have to play hide and seek with Pokemon. I thought it was going to make me go all the way through the forest just to find Appleton. Ouch. The Appleton clocked you right on the head? I didn't know we were resorting to violence here. I have no gashing bruise on me. How much does Applin weigh? Because <laughs> one of the smallest Pokemon to exist weighs over 2,000 pounds. Okay, so so just because Appleton is really small doesn't mean it doesn't weigh anything. What is it? Cosmo? Cosmog? The evolution of Cosmog, whatever that is. That weighs over 2,000 pounds, and it's like four inches. Come on, Ursifu. Ar I keep calling you Ursaring. You, you can make it. You can't cross bridges or any sort of water. <laughs> you're, you're a water-type Pokemon, <laughs> but you can't touch water. How can I shake a tree that big? Can, can I have answer? Oh, my God. All right, it's, it's just gonna be camera movement. Vern, what's happening? Oh, am I facing a Gigantamax Pokemon? Oh, that's kind of cool. That's, that's actually kind of cool. 
Except it's most likely gonna be a Gigantamax Combi, isn't it? Oh, it's it's a Vena Queen, a Vespa Queen. Okay. All right, we might we might actually have a challenge here. Here we go. Acrobatics. Why is that getting so close to killing? Oh my gosh. All right. Well, Max Geyser is gonna do a lot of damage this turn, but probably just as much. Uh, and then it's pretty much gonna be handed off to uh, Eternatus just to one-shot it. Oh, homie, I'm shooting a laser out of my chest. Well, it's been real, but I think you've learned just about everything that the Master Dojo has to teach you. Which means I can finally have a proper battle well, absolutely no holding back. We're having a battle. I could use a bit of training if I'm going to be ready for what's coming. I'm battling Master Mustard in the courtyard. Am I am I able to Gigantamax my Urshifu yet? My Ursarang Fu yet? Surgeon Strike. What does this do? What does this move look like? Re really washing the dishes on that one. So Lugia and Ho-Oh, all right? I <laughs> I know we're in this very heated battle that from the looks of it actually is one of the hardest battles in the entire game because he has the highest level for his Pokemon. Like this is harder than the champion Leon. And I, and I just want to talk about giving Lugia and Ho-Oh stupid cartoon <laughs> voices. See Lugia, Lugia looks more like a duck. So we give it the Minnie Mouse card, right? And Ho-Oh here, we, we give that the Donald Duck. <laughs> Only makes sense. I cannot do a Donald Duck impression to save my life. However, a Minnie Mouse is slightly higher pitched than Mickey Mouse. So it should sound something. <laughs> oh, that's awful. I don't think that voice that just came out was really anything. Uh, th that was just a demon trapped inside. This is his final three Pokemon, so I say we just take advantage of the Dynamax that we have here. Oh, oh what you... It's not Gigantamax. My giant sewing Yogi Bear is not Gigantamax. <laughs> Wait, what, th what was the point of doing that whole hop quest? I thought that whole point was to Gigantamax him. I see how it is. How about we have an Urshifu off? Battle of the Urshifu. Whose Urshifu is better? Oh shoot, he can Dynamax. He can Dynamax his Urshifu. Um, we, we might, we might have a bit of a problem here. Um, uh-oh. <laughs> oh my god. Here, here I was thinking that I'd actually have struggles with this thing, with this gigantic, this this gigantic beast. Look at that! That that is nightmare worthy. And then I just almost one shot it with a simple brick break. <laughs> I am so happy I chose the water. <laughs> I don't want to finish it off with a brick break. That's too cruel. Uh, we'll we'll finish him off with an iron head. Very nice. Can you imagine if that Iron Head just missed? 30,000 cash for winning? Bro, battle me any day. The end.